Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV, and I'm gonna show you how you can create a button programmatically in code using Swift. And with that, I'm also gonna show you how you can apply auto layout so that you can get the same great layout effects across different devices in code. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. When I click the add button, we can make a button appear and disappear. So I can just press this multiple times. We're creating a button dynamically and we're hiding it. Now, another thing we can do is we can animate with auto layout and we can add auto layout constraints. So let's add a button to the bottom. I'll press the button and we have the button slide up and then we can make it disappear. So this is great when you have content that's dynamic in nature and is something that's not gonna be static. Normally in a storyboard, you work a lot with static interfaces, but now we can apply auto layout in code and connect it to animations so that we can make some playful interfaces that are dynamic and responsive as the user plays with your app. All right, so let's jump in. Let's learn how you can create an interface like this, how you can create these dynamic buttons and apply them to your own iPhone apps. Hey, this is Paul Soul. Real quick, I wanna interrupt you. You're watching this tutorial on YouTube and I actually have a course with all the source code, all of the video files that you can actually download. So what you need to do is just jump on over, click the link and you can jump into this course, it's free. It's gonna show you how to animate using auto layout in your iPhone apps with Swift. So if you're enjoying this, go ahead, click the link and jump into the course, it's free and you can get started with building a nice animation using auto layout.